Visual Gaming. Call Maniac. Enjoy my channel and have fun. Hello Retro Gaming Maniacs and welcome to another episode of to Maniacs Retro Gaming Zone. This time it's the PlayStation 1 uh, on which I like to show you a special game. Uh, and this is um, Evil Dead Hail to the King. Looks this kind of. And uh, wait, let's me switch on, uh, off the filter for a little moment so that you can better see it without the, the green screen effect. So this is what I got from a flea market recently. Yeah, recently is uh, last year. And uh, lucky me, I got this game for not too expensive. And uh, now I switch over to the gameplay screen. And there we have it. Hello, paging player. Paging player. So, Press the uh, button. and I've played this a little while just to get into the controls. And what I must say is that this, uh, this game is really hard. And in my, so to say, training session, <laughs> I didn't make it Come really on, far. And uh, I, <laughs> I wasn't able to get to the first save point. And so I died very soon. But uh, now I will give this one a try so that you can see what it look like, uh, looks like and uh, how I fail in that one. And I really, really love the series. I'm a big fan of, Evil, of the Evil Dead series. Um, so the, the three parts on DVD and there's also, uh, was it a Netflix series? Ash vs. the Evil Dead and it's simply awesome. So. I do uh, what he wants me to, uh, to press the start button. And I will play a new game because I cannot load one. <laughs> Options, what do we have here? Ah, vibration on sound mode, stereo volume. Yeah, okay. So I leave this right there. And start a new game. Let's go. And at first everything looked the same, like nothing ever happened. I wondered if all of it had just been a bad dream. Boy, was I wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> His hand. Oh, no, not again. Damn it, it won't shut off. Yeah, it was uh, part two of the film where his hand got cursed and then he cut it off to the wrist with a chainsaw. <laughs> and now the hand is back again. Max. Oh, this can't be happening. Not again. Oh, yeah, it's happening. It's happening in a big way. You'll excuse me. Duty calls. What? Work shed. Tool time. <laughs> Groovy. And I really like this little uh, video the section. Out there somewhere. Alive. I can feel it. If I can find the pages from the Necronomicon, I might be able to send the evil back and undo this whole mess once and for all. Okay. Um, I'm thinking about making the screen a bit bigger so that you can see a little bit more of the gameplay. Wait a second. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, what about that? Yeah, why not? So, okay, um, there we have it. Mm, yeah, and it starts with this um, 
inventory where you first have the notes then you can um, i play this with my uh, on my playstation 3 with the ps3 controller so i have to get into this a little bit my inventory uh, actually i'm equipped with the sh uh, chainsaw the, uh, and this is your main weapon and uh, the bar below shows how much fuel you have for the chainsaw and you have uh, to search for fuel uh, on and on so that you can use it and the X so these are standard weapons and then you also have a gun and you have ammunition and uh, perhaps I should use this in the gun can I do so haven't tested this out in my test gameplay Ah, so you have one magazine inserted then a medikit what was that converter one of your scientific experiments with a little research it might become helpful okay so it seems you can create new things with this one i haven't checked this out yet and then you have a map this is where you uh, start and okay this is everything i can do right now yes and with the uh with the uh, rectangle button i can uh, slash with my x and with the cross i can uh, slash with the saw and with um R2 I can turn on the chainsaw and with L2 I can turn it off uh, this is what I found out so far and there was some flashing flashlight so let's get back to that and with the circle button I can examine things save tape this tape will allow you to save your game but you need to find a recorder uh, so that you can save and I didn't find it uh, in my test play <laughs> and so yeah I died on and on <gasps> as you will see soon it is really hard and uh, I didn't got far in the game perhaps I should try out the gun then mm, but I also don't like to squander all my worthy ammunition because I don't know what it will be good for later on in the game. Yeah, we will try this later, perhaps. Okay, so let's examine the rest of the rooms here. I can go here. A few broken dishes, okay. Is there something in the refrigerator? Oh, a sandwich. The sandwich has a little too much mayo on it, but otherwise it looks palatable. Will replenish your health. Okay. We take this. I guess there isn't more. No. Okay. And what's in here? Oh, the bathroom. This is a room I, I didn't in, uh, uh, inspect on my training mission. Oh, vitamins. A generic multivitamin chewable orange flavored will replenish health. Oh, okay. So let's take everything with us that might be helpful. Is here something in? No. Is there something in the toilet? You <laughs> feel like a new man. Okay. <laughs> Splash. And what is here? Or is this where I came from? Yeah, seems so. Is there another uh, direction I can go to? What about here? No. I think there isn't any thing left you can do here. Okay. Then let's step out of this room. Can I go there? No. No, I can't. Okay, so I do 
have to go to the left and then I should be back in. Ah, okay. Another room here. Oh. Is here something? So I see that here over the piano. Hey, there's a page right there. Oh, page of the Necronomicon. This is what you all uh, so have to search for. The initial manifestation of the evil is twofold. First, invisible interdimensional forces are able to take control of humans. Once in full possession, all aspects of human form are lost. Oh, oh. So, is there anything else? I don't think so. So, I can leave this. What is with this shelf, for, uh, perhaps? Nothing. Okay. Something here? I really wonder uh, where the recorder might be. Oh, and there we have the first enemy. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, they will appear really often. But uh, normally, when you have killed them, they leave some uh, small health kits. And then uh, with this, uh, you can replenish your health. At the moment, um, I have enough health. Is there something here? No. And here, under the bed? Nothing. Okay. So, now I should be back in my starting room okay and there are also some of these monsters uh, one should appear soon ah, and this is uh, the trap door uh, which you also know from the films can I examine that the trap door seems to be locked from the inside and I fear that later in the game we have to get there Ah, yeah. Hey. Yeah, and you have to look in the same direction in which you are slaying and hacking. Hopefully I survive this one. And then I should take a med kit. And they are tough. Come get some. And I don't like to use the chainsaw yet because uh, of the lack of fuel. I don't have too much. So, but now I think it's time to use uh, one of these health kits. Okay. Yeah, and the last time I, I really was frustrated because I wasn't definitely was not able to make it to the safe point wherever it may be. <laughs> yes, because you are just greeted by these monsters uh, as soon as you step out of the uh, hut. And they are really tough. Hmm, there's something reddish on the ground back there. So, got this one. Let's go. Yo. For some reason. First one hasn't left the med kit. Ah, dice. Annoying beast. 
Can survive this fight. Okay, it's time to take a med kit right now or eat this sandwich. Okay, so that hopefully does the job, but I think you can see what's happening here. Um, it's really hard to kill them. Ah, die you fucking shit. Why doesn't this fucking piece of shit die? Man, that's annoying. Why don't you fucking beast die? Oh, this is really annoying. Yeah, okay. I think I will soon be done. Hopefully, oh, what I can try to use is the gun. Ooh. Okay, and hopefully this one helps. And let's take the other med kit uh, or the vitamins. So, and hopefully I can stay alive. Mm. Yeah. So, the pistol doesn't help at all against these great Groovy. i see my death coming because these damn fucking ghosts don't like to die and i have not really enough health material here Let's try it with the same chainsaw. Oh. And uh, then you have to control the camera. And I fear that the fuel will be I will be out of fuel rather soon. So! So first I have to take this. Ah, they are so annoying. And I, uh, as you can see, I'm uh, nearly out of fuel. And to turn the camera in the right direction is the other thing hopefully i can pick this up before i die and hopefully i can use this then so okay and this is really what annoys me in this game You just cannot get rid of them. And I guess I will die too soon. So that I, I really would like to show you more of the game, but it's impossible. No chance. So, no med kit left. Uh, finally, I killed. Ah, this is, this is, is this possible? It doesn't end. It really doesn't end. How many are there on this field? 50? And this is so annoying. And 
there's no safe option. Normally I would, would uh, like to save after every uh, one fight. This is unbelievable. They, they are endless. Why do they respawn on and on and on and on? Let me pick this up, asshole. Yeah, there are still some things I like to collect. But I guess I won't make it that far. Yeah, fuck yourself. Yeah. It doesn't end. Okay, as long as you move away, I can pick this up. <sighs> Stay here. Come get some. Let's go. Yo. Come get some. Unfortunately, you cannot lock uh, the target. Okay, let's zip another health kit. of them do I have to kill? Yeah, and I didn't get further in my test. I died here on the field. And I fear uh, this will end up the same. Because they are endless. And this is what really annoys me in the game. This is really sad. I really would love to see more of the game. But uh, I don't see a chance here. Ah. If, I, if I've seen this right, I have no health kit left. So I will die really soon. Yeah, that's it. And the bad thing is that you have to start all over from the beginning. And that is what I definitely not do. And this is really sad. I really would have liked to uh, make it any further. But as you can see here, uh, these, these ghosts are so annoying because they respawn on and on and on and endlessly so that you cannot make any progress in the game. And uh, this is really a bummer to me. And yeah, uh, doesn't motivate me really to go on. But it, I think as a... As a fan of the series, is uh, it's nice to have this one in uh, my collection, in my gaming collection. And yeah, what do you think about the game? Do you like it? Do you have it? Did you get further than I did? Uh, and I hope you liked what you've seen. And it so would be cool to see a like for the video and perhaps a subscription to my channel. And hopefully we meet us again in the next video. So stay tuned. Bye bye till then. You're Tomaniac.